going to be looking at a few spirit matches, um, a good variety of wins, some losses, some fairly close games. Uh, Azeroth's resting place, pretty good map, easy to get free gens. Um, I'm running corrupt intervention, which will probably not help with that. But I'm checking my side uh, to make sure no one spawned over here. Fortunately, both my totems spawned over this side, so I'm not going to get them immediately. I spot an Adam with my uh, Undying because he's hopped on a totem, so it's probably not object of obsession. I actually got a really lucky crab, which early on is definitely going to make things a lot easier. I've also failed a skill check on that generator. Actually no, sorry, I think they vaulted. Uh, there's two people on this totem, which is really interesting. I might have gotten another crab there, but they actually body parked. Totem, but I have one dying, so it doesn't really matter. I should have waited for the dead heart there. Fortunately, this goes down anyway because they ran to the middle of nowhere. That's the thing, contemplating. Trying to throw down the pallet, probably not going to happen. We get the rescue. I end up finding the Adam and down he goes. The Fang runs over this way. I end up trying to hide behind these tires. I think they dead hearted, but I still managed to get the hit. The ace comes like rushing over. This is a really good start. Minus getting mugged off by aim assist. Ace looks like he's about to death hard on me, he does not. I'm massively choke that. Because controller. Fortunately it's not that big of a deal because I'm winning. Quite massively, they are really struggling. Adam, not sure what he's doing. Just breaking the wall. Just in case. He sets himself die on hook. The Adam walking into me and then running immediately into a wall. Maybe they're playing some kind of switch. I don't know what that was. I end up getting the down and the hook. The Fang is trying to hide behind a rock. Unfortunately, I didn't realise, but they set off. So they actually end up running past me. However, the Adam lets himself die anyway. And so the thing just comes running back. Giving me the free hit because they fake that for some reason. I swing there. missing. They try to blind me and I'm so shocked by it that I actually miss. If they didn't have iron well, I would have got them uh, anyway. 
because you can just have them, but I end up getting that down. Over repairing that generator. I can see them walking right by my uh, totem. So I assume they're going to cleanse it, but they actually end up not. I thought maybe they went back to the generator to finish it, but instead they are. Uh, actually ran around the side of the map and get the rescue. over on that far generator. I don't know why that on the generator at this point. I mean, objective archive maybe? Person's running no perks on some map. <laughs> Torment Creek. Uh, this match was actually a bit more interesting. Actually, I might have something to talk about rather than, rather than just Adam being really good. People standing still. I probably could have hit myself better, but I didn't uh, they managed to elude me. I assumed that they would just sprint off, which they did, but I got the wrong direction. Totem spawn. I can hear someone right here. I did not get that, unfortunately. They've already completed that generator. For some reason, that Serena thinks they can hide there. I switch over to the David because they're near nothing. I thought I could get him. 
this David ended up being quite a bit of a trouble because they just, well, as you can see, they just run to the opposite side of the map. There goes another generator. I do the absolute big brain play. Literally nothing. They're gonna get the vault from the looks of it, yeah. I should have held that longer. I know they're running quick and quiet though. Oops, I shouldn't have swung for that. Absolute blunder on my part. I swung for that as well. I'm playing this really badly. There goes another generator. I don't know how this could be going much worse. I'm massively blundering. I have a zero stacks of devour. Which is probably my only saving grace. Ruin a stop, unfortunately. That will help. And there goes my ruin. Really unfortunate with that. Actually used my power and got it down. David on that generator. The glory, I believe, on this one. That missed because of sprint burst. This arena went off the other way. Okay, well, that was just auto aim. That was pretty dumb. I get the next one. They didn't go for the unhook, surprisingly. Which means probably no borrowed time. I absolutely could have got the hit there. Fortunately, they just stand still, even though they don't have iron well, so you just know exactly where they are. Someone was going to be going for the unhook, but they weren't. Which means he's getting a second stage, which is definitely going to help. The Serena here. I should probably just pick this person up and hook them at this point. Yeah. Because the other guys are probably coming over for the uh, rescue. Finally, they rescued the ace. I thought those scratch marks were someone running away, but they were actually coming to the hook. At this point I'm just hoping they don't do a generator. Unfortunately they are. And they finish the generator as well. So hopefully I can get a kill, but I forgot that they got to second stage. Looks like it's going to be a one kill, but if David was on this one. Dead hard. Down they go. Unfortunately, 
unfortunately the lorry left, but I hope that I can get the Serena. They did have sprint best. The exit is quite far away, so if I'm very lucky I'll be able to get both of them. Unfortunately they get to shank pallet. And they then blind me, but then they vault into me for some reason. Maybe they thought I was facing around. I hope the Serena and the Vapor just leaves. Still managed to scrape two kills, but that was really, really bad. I just didn't have a good start. I kept misplaying it, and then um, they got my totems, and my ruin was gone, which definitely made it a lot harder. Another uh, match with some weird matchmaking, there's a green rank for some reason, and another one person running no packs for some reason. Shelter Woods, a uh, pretty good map. I ended up switching out Devour because it was, uh, it didn't work out too well. And I thought running two hexes would be a bit too much. I get another person with my undying. Unfortunately I only got a hit this time. Thing. Massively misplaying that, it just slow vaults straight into me. So I get the hook. Generator done if you want to see that now. I go after the. Oh, I. Okay, I went after the Dwight. I thought he would left, but then he didn't. This Dwight just camps the other side of the pallet. Which is definitely a uh, one way to play against the spirit. Maybe they don't know you can phase, or maybe they just expect that I'm gonna fake it. One generator gets popped in the distance. Almost get the hit on the thing. of me there. This person fast vaults for some reason. I'm swinging too early. Thing is, still trying to do that dull totem for some reason. I pretend that I'm going for the Nia, but I end up going for the Thing and manage to get the grab. Basements here, so I take them down. End up seeing all three of them. I thought I saw someone there because of the crow, but no. The Nia flies off. I swing too early again. Barely missing the steep. <laughs> the amazing death hole. I was kind of 
considering what to do there. I would have phased over, but my power's on cooldown, and I'm not running any add-ons. So I don't have faster recharge. Fortunately, the Neo just pre-drops the pallet straight into me. This thing failing miserably at hiding behind the rock. I go back over to the Steve. Dwight couldn't get them up in time. I'm in a really good position here. Unfortunately, the Feng has Unbreakable. And then the Nia has... Second wind. This Dwight refusing to move gives me the free drink uh, down to basement. Steve, but Mr. Dania just runs straight into me. I went looking for the Steve, but he's got Iron Will, I think, so... I don't find him, or he just buggered off. I really should have just kept chasing the Nia there, especially since they are very good. But... I thought I could get away with it since I've got all four survivors injured. They've only done one generator. They got my ruin. Or undying. Fortunately, not that big of a deal. Steve's in this corner, so I get the free down. I see if I can stop this generator. Fortunately, it's regressed most of the way because I'm ruined. I expect the near to. Back or do something, and uh, they did that, and then I miss horribly the control ring, and then I, I I don't know why they turned back there. Uh, over here. He's hugging it for some reason even though there's nothing over here. He dropped that early which was good. I faked this for 10 years. Until I get my power back, the Dwight actually did something other than standing still, and he just falls straight into me. That's uh, fair. I'm kind of thinking that the um. Steve might have spine chill, which is why I'm walking sideways there. Not think it really matters. I can see them buggering off. 
I should have been able to tell they were on my right there, but I did not. The Dwight dies. Pretty much solidifying this match. for the vault and does not make it. on top of thing. They camp the vault, which is probably not a good idea. Dead hearts to nothing. a rank 10. That Nia was apparently the highest rank, which is uh, interesting, since they probably played the worst. Except maybe the Fang. Uh, no, even the Fang did better than that. Lodge, uh, not ideal. Probably going to be a pretty rough one. Uh, same build. Rune Undying, Sloppy Barbecue. Pretty good. I see the David moving the grass. And I get the free hit. I think I've got two people on that generator. I'm waiting for the dead hard because it's David and he's looking back, but. It does not arrive. The first generator pops two people on that one. I was hoping I could find one of them in the middle, but didn't. Another generator pops. This is why people run a corrupt intervention. Fortunately they're both like far away so it's not a big deal. I end up seeing the Serena here. Because I'm buying. I Unfortunately, do not get the hit on the mech. I probably. 
probably should have just gone for the Serena. Fortunately, the Meg instantly vaulted and they have the weaker window, so I should have ended up hit him. Which I do. If they don't have Iron Will, which they don't, this should end pretty quickly. Unfortunately, they get to another pallet. Unfortunately, it's pretty safe and they managed to get away. The Meg ends up waiting. I do see two people in the distance though. And so I end up going for them. I think that David needs to go the other way, but he's got Sprint Burst, so he just f gets to the pallet. There goes my Ruin, which at this point is really bad. I've basically gotten no use out of it at all. I'm expecting the David to still be over here. He is. He gets the unhook. I unfortunately find the Meg and not the David, so I switch over. There was no obsession, so I could have uh, tunneled them, but I tried not to. David going over to the bus. The pallet has already been thrown. So I'm hoping that they'll either vault it like they did there, which is why I waited, or um, they came back or vaulted the window. The third generator has just popped. Unfortunately, all three of them are over here. So it's going to be quite difficult for them to get the rescue. Without getting hit. The Meg immediately runs over to the bus. And then over to this corner. Probably so their teammate can get saved. They end up going to the pallet, but they don't throw it, so I get the down. Hey. Hey. Fortunately, they spend the time healing, so that generator isn't about to pop. But my ruin is gone, which is definitely going to make it a lot harder. Fortunately, I found the chain. They also run over to the bus. They really like this bus. I hope that I can get them to leave by faking. I was successful, but they went straight back. They can instantly vault the window though, and now this is pretty much a free down. They turned around and went into me. Not sure why. Probably should have waited for the dead hard, but. I didn't expect that. End up faking going for them so that I can go to the generator. I do find the David on it. He fortunately ran round the side. I'm faking this while I wait for my power. Fortunately, he went to a complete dead zone. I do manage to lose him though. He does have iron well. I see they're going for that generator. Meg lag 
thinking of it. I'm pretty much assuming they'll go for the vault. They're so laggy that I thought they weren't gonna vault. I get the hit though. They are really warping. I get the town just about. I was hoping I could fake that, but... My power was on cooldown. I almost get the hit, maybe swung a little early. I didn't break this power, so they can instantly uh, just fault that. The Meg gets up. Get the vault. I thought they might fake it, they did not. They run off towards the main building for some reason. I should have probably just expected them to vault that, but I didn't expect them to drop that, they don't. I'm just Reading all of this, I still get the down there. Eventually, definitely could have played that chase a lot better. And it costs me the generator. I look like they top two generators. Now at least two were very close. David, so they're going to get free escape. And I get brutal coming. Missed playing that last chase definitely cost me. Uh, I probably could have got two kills, but 